Hello and welcome back to Fan Geek Tastic. I've had a couple of requests to do a video on the more recent comic books, so I am going to use this uh, Age of Ultron versus Marvel Zombies, and it's a little hard to see, but there are two little spine dings, one here and then one down here. Um, I think you can make that one out there. And that one there. And there's a little bit of a divot right here by the staple. And I do believe that that's it. Just those couple little spots. There's a, nothing really showing on the back. Which means that this was folded towards, to, or you know, yeah, minor folded towards the, the front. I'm going to be doing a, a contest giveaway. So there's going to be four options at the end of this video. And the only requirements is that you like the video, that you subscribe to the channel, and you tell me which one of the three, or four, that you want. There is two boxes of cards, a rack pack, and a single special card. If you stay to the end of the video, I will show you which ones they are. So, I'm going to go ahead and get it ready. we got got... Uh, And the center fold. There it is. And we put the backing boards on either side of the staple so that the staple doesn't make indentations into the page. Go ahead and open that up and put the one in the back. I always put the uh, laminate coated side towards the cover. Now, before I, I put the, the front on, there is a little bit more that I got to do on the inside because this is a coated page. It's not the newsprint of the of the past. They want to stick together whenever you heat them up. And I haven't found a temperature yet that I can heat them up with to. I haven't found a temperature that I can heat them up to where they don't want to stick and it still takes out the... So what I do is I get uh, acid-free paper and I put them... in every single page. And make sure you got it shoved all the way in there because you don't want them sticking together near the spine. And this is the last of the paper that I have. So hopefully I have enough. Alright, it's not wanting to I kind of have the camera in front of me where I normally would stand, so it's making it a little bit more difficult to, to handle everything, but that's kind of what you have to put up with whenever you're making videos. center. Make sure I'm still on either side of the staple.
almost there. All right, and there's the inside cover. So that's whenever I put in the backing board. And then the outside board. So now I have this big old monstrosity of paper sticking out everywhere. And I got my press all heated up. And we'll go ahead and transfer this. over Teflon sheet and I currently have it set at 72 76 was just a little bit too too warm so start and that will be 10 minutes and then we will come back all right first 10 minutes is up and we'll go ahead and switch it out no turn it over anyway Now the back really didn't have any issues with it, but uh, I prefer doing both sides, making sure that they're both been heated up the same amount. So whenever they uh, when they cool off, they cool off pretty much at the same rate. It will reduce the chances of. having the the wave look going on and we will come back and switch it over to the book here in about uh, 10 minutes all right we are done with the second round of 10 let's go ahead and take it out and Put it in the book. This is a very old thesaurus. Uh, dictionaries work too. I have a uh, physician's desk reference that I also use. And uh, that will definitely put enough pressure on it so that uh, it will continue to press flat. So now I need to leave it sitting here in that book for the next uh, about six hours and then we will check on it all right we've had uh, about seven hours now pass and uh, time to go ahead and see how it worked cover that was all fine to start off with and front cover if we look along the spine 
I see not a single irregular reflection. Pull out my magnifier and double check. Alright, so this, this comic book is not really worth all that much, but uh, it has gone from a maybe a 9.8 to definitely a 9.8 by doing that press. And the reason why I say maybe a 9.8 is because they, are, they were such minor imperfections that uh, most grading companies would probably not... Uh, rate them as a full grade off so that would have kept it uh, as a 9.8 um, there's a good chance that uh, at some point you know a grading company might have just gone ahead and said it's a 9.6 but uh, most would have probably still have graded it as a 9.8 because, as I said, it was a very minor imperfection. And that is the final piece there. And I'm going to go ahead and stick this back in its bag. Sorry, you're getting nothing but my arm there. in its bag in a lovely 9-8 condition and that will go back in with my other Battle World comic books. As I promised at the beginning of the video, I am going to show you your three options. Option number one is 1982 ET Rack Pack. It is sealed, never been opened, in brand new condition. Option number two is Star Trek Series 2 of the 25th Anniversary Edition. Option number three is the new season of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This is from uh, 1994. And the fourth option is 2012 Vampirella autographed insert card. So that's all you have to do is you let me know which one you want, subscribe to the channel, and like the video. This is a contest. It is not a guarantee that you will receive something. I will notify you if you win one of the items. I may end up giving away more than one item. Thank you for joining me today as I press a modern age comic book. Now this is the way that I do it and I know that there are many other ways to do it. They're all going to be fairly similar and they're going to have their own differences. Because this is the way I do it and this is the way I show people how to do it, it does not mean that it's the only way to do it. So if someone else out there has an idea that they want to do it a different way, as long as it gets what they want accomplished, I am all for it. Please like, share, and subscribe. If there's any more information you would like to know, please leave it in the comments. For everything you're a fan of, everything you geek out about, this is Fan Geek Tastic, and we're here for you.